Hi everyone, this is Counselor Miriam with the final video in the Attachment Style series. Today's video will focus on the last attachment style, Secure Attachment. If you haven't watched the first four videos from this series, I would encourage you to go back to watch them and understand what attachment styles are. Secure Attachment is the most common attachment style. About two-thirds of the population have a secure attachment style. Secure attachment can be achieved when a caregiver is emotionally and physically attuned to a child. Let's keep in mind that no parental figure is perfect. We can all expect parents to make some mistakes, and if you are a parent or caregiver, you can probably think of a few times when you are not emotionally or physically attuned with your child. Good news is, you can make mistakes and still foster the development of a secure attachment. So there are several opportunities um, and conditions that create secure attachment. The first is establishing safety for your child. This does not only mean physical safety, but also emotional and mental safety and security. This might look like comfort, warmth, closeness, and the early years of a child's development. The second condition is to make your child feel seen and understood. This can be achieved by responding to cues that a baby or a young child might give their caretaker in order to let them know that they need something. The third condition in achieving um, a secure attachment is helping the child feel soothed and reassured. Children aren't born with the ability to soothe themselves. In a child's early years of development, they learn this skill from their caretaker. Providing appropriate and responsive reassurance will help a child learn this skill. The fourth condition is allowing the child to feel valued. Helping a child feel valued in their early years of development can help build a healthy self-esteem over time. The last condition for the development of a secure attachment is to provide opportunities for a child to explore and achieve autonomy. Giving the child the opportunity to explore will help them learn how to make mistakes and recover with a safety net. So you'll use these five conditions as a roadmap for secure attachment. It was really helpful for me and my understanding of attachment styles to understand that most parenting mistakes are usually unintentional. Most parents want their children to succeed. So with patience and practice, you can achieve growth and, uh, and secure attachment can be um, established. I wanna recommend a few resources to help parents and caregivers provide opportunities for secure attachment. There are two books, The Whole Brain Child by Dan Siegel and 13 Mentally Strong Things, and I'm sorry, 13 Things Mentally Strong Parents Don't Do by Amy Morin. I would also recommend the website, The Attachment Project. Most of the information from this series came from The Attachment Project. You can explore their website and blog to learn more about attachment styles and how they might affect development and relationships as an adult. So overall, I hope this series was helpful. I really enjoyed learning and exploring it for myself. Thank you for listening.